only on two, a Chicago teen tracked down on a CTA bus and nearly robbed on the way home from school makes a personal plea to lawmakers. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonyo spoke to her about her ordeal and joins us live in North Lawndale tonight. Suzanne. Erica, that teen told us she wants to see more safe passage workers on the route where she ends at the bus stop when she's on her way home from school. She also says that she wants to see that, especially in the winter months, because it gets dark as it is right now. She wants resources for the teens in the form of programs and jobs because she says they need that in the place here on the west side, the place that they call home. He was um, coming at me in an um, in um, aggressive way. Chicago Public School student Destiny Brown talks about being the victim of a strong armed robbery here at this CTA bus stop at Pulaski and Jackson on November 9th. He asked me for money and uh, I had money in my hand, but I needed it to catch the bus and I told him I didn't have any money and like he just was coming in my face like to ask me why did I do that. Then the bus arrived. When Brown tried to board the bus, she says. It was like he was trying to snatch me off the bus and that's when me and my friends, they helped me fight. Brown says she used to see safe passage workers in the area in the past, but did not see any on the day she was attacked. Just last year, there were 88 attempted strong arm robberies on the west side of the city and 10 arrests. I think that we should um have some changes in the community. The high school sophomore shared her story at an event on the west side to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and to raise awareness about crime in her community. The youth leader for the group Youth Opposed to Violence Everywhere says she wants to see more safe passage workers and teen programs in her community. The 16-year-old reached out to State Senator Patricia Van Pelt with the hope of creating change. She's demanding now that more funds come into the community, and I'm so happy to hear her say that. We have people who have gone through something, then that, that's a compelling, a compelling reason, a compelling story to bring back to the State House. Now, Van Pelt, she's also the chairman of the Public Health Committee. She says she plans to bring Destiny to Springfield to share her story with lawmakers. Meantime, we reached out to CPS. We got a statement just moments ago, and they say that this incident happened in a safe passage zone where workers had already gone for the day. They say they are deeply concerned that this happened to a student, and they say they're going to be working with her to support her after she encountered this situation. We're live in North Lawndale. Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Erica. Suzanne, thank you.